Hundreds of Zimbabweans wait inside the compound of South Africa's Department of Home Affairs in an attempt to get or renew their asylum papers. Once they are inside the compound in Pretoria, they are trapped for hours under the baking sun, hoping to get an appointment. Samuel Bongo feels lucky because he finally got his papers renewed. Zimbabwe. He says he left neighboring Zimbabwe because he could not feed his family anymore as inflation and political violence became unbearable. Austin Mavura explains it took three weeks for him to get his own asylum papers. He tries to get by in South Africa by selling cookies to other Zimbabweans waiting in line. Many Zimbabweans say in addition to the bureaucratic hassles, they face discrimination in most public places and the constant threat of anti-immigrant violence. At human rights offices in Pretoria, Zimbabwean lawyer Gabriel Shumba says it is not just in South Africa where his fellow nationals feel at a loss. He feels frustrated exiled Zimbabweans cannot more easily help improve the situation in their own country. The deliberate uh, sidelining or disenfranchisement of people who have been forced to flee their country, in particular from national processes, such as, uh, you know, the constitutional reform exercise, such as even elections. Other exiled Zimbabweans are concerned about bare survival. Unemployed, homeless and hungry, they have found refuge at the Central Methodist Church in downtown Johannesburg. Offices here have been converted into cramped quarters where families huddle together and also prepare their meals. Children try to do their homework. The church's lobby has been converted into a market and also a place to dry laundry. One of the jobless living here, Isaac Matanda, was a local government administrator in Zimbabwe. He fled Zimbabwe by foot last year because he feared for his life due to his opposition political activities. Things haven't been so comfortable to date because I'm still in search. Despite that, I've got high qualifications. I'm trying to run around. At night, before bedtime, exiled Zimbabweans come together to sing, dance, and pray for better days. The man behind the church's generosity is Bishop Paul Varen. We deal with almost every possible human difficulty that you possibly can. You know, there are relationship problems, there's violence, there's sometimes alcohol is a problem in the building. It's not smooth sailing, and uh, there aren't easy and quick answers. Bishop Varen gives nightly sermons, during which he also advertises available jobs in South Africa he hears about. The services are well attended. Zimbabwean exiles say they are having a moment of reprieve in turbulent and desolate times away from home. At the end of the service, when the bishop asks who wants special prayers and a sprinkle with holy water, dozens of adults rush forward with their children, hoping they will have a better life eventually, wherever that may be. Nico Columbus, VOA News, Johannesburg. Amen.